Hello everyone, this is your teacher Miss Lamy and today we are going to learn some new things. Long time I didn't see you so we are together again. Okay, today as usual we are going to learn a few new words. Five new words in the beginning of the class and then after that we are going to have some other activities. Okay, first word is... Let's spell together. L A D Y B U G S Ladybugs. Yes, let's try again. Ladybugs. Okay, does anyone know what does ladybugs means? Okay, ladybugs means is a little insect that has red wings with the black spots. Okay, next word is... Okay, let's spell together. R, E, F, R, I, G, E, R, A, T, O, R. Refrigerator. Okay, let's try to say it again refrigerator okay and does anyone know what does it mean okay next word is w o l f wolf let's say it again wolf do you know what this wolf means hmm? wolf means okay okay the next word is C A R R O T Carrot Okay, let's say it once more Carrot Does anyone know what does carrot means? Carrot is a vegetable The orange vegetable Do you know what does it mean? It is Okay Okay Next word is E G G P L A N T Eggplant Okay, once more Eggplant Do you know what does eggplant mean? It's a vegetable as well It is Okay, the next word is G L O V E Glow Let's try once more Glow Does anyone know what this glow means? Glow is Okay, let's one more repeat all the words Ladybug Refrigerator Wolf, carrot, eggplant, and glow. Okay, that's all for the words. Today I'm going to tell you some stories and then I'm going to ask you questions about those stories. Okay. The, the important thing is that you have to listen carefully and then you have to remember everything I say. The first story. Watermelons. Watermelons are good to eat. I like to eat them in the summer. They taste good when it's hot outside, said Ashley. They are made up of almost all water. That's why they are called watermelons. Kate said. Okay, now I'm going to repeat once more and then I'm going to ask you questions. Watermelons are good to eat. I, I like to eat them in the summer. They taste good when it's hot outside, said Ashley. They are made up of almost all water. That's why they are called watermelons, Kate said. Okay, do you remember everything I just said? 
Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Let's see, can you answer it? Question number one. What is this story about? Does anyone know? Okay, I'm going to give you some ABC answers so you can understand and reply easier. What is the story about? A. Fruit B. Summer or C. Watermelons Do you know the answer? Yes, the correct answer is C. Watermelons Okay, question number two when do watermelons taste good? What do you think? Okay, A, when it's cold outside, B, when it's hot outside, or C, when it's raining outside. What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is B, when it's hot outside. Okay, question number three. Why are they called watermelons? Do you know? A. Because of their green skin B. Because they are pink inside or C. Because they are made of almost all water What do you think? C is the correct answer Because they are made of almost all water Okay, now it's time for the next story Ladybugs we already learned what ladybugs are, so let's hear the story. Brenna likes ladybugs. They are small round bugs with red wings. The wings have black spots on them. Ladybugs eat the bugs on our plants, she told me. She showed me a ladybug. I like them too, I said. Okay, once more. Brenna likes ladybugs. They are small round bugs with red wings. The wings have black spots on them. Ladybugs eat the bug on our plant, she said. She showed me a ladybug. I like them too, I said. Okay, question number one. What do ladybugs look like? Does anyone ever, did anyone ever see ladybug? Do you know how it looked like? Okay, I have some ABC answers for you. A. Small and round with the red wings. B. Small and, small and round with the black wings. And C. Small and round with the pink wings. What do you think is correct answer? The correct answer is A. Small and round with the red wings. Okay, let's go for the next question. What color are the spots on their wings? A. Red B. Black Or C. They have no dots What do you think? Do you know the answer? The B is correct. They have black dots Okay, question number three What do ladybugs eat? Did you ever see ladybug that eat something? Okay A. They eat bugs B. They eat plants or C. They eat fruits. Okay, I'm going to give you some time to think about it. Do you know? Okay, the correct answer is A. Bugs. Ladybugs like to eat bugs on the plant. Okay, now it's time for the third story. Ants. My teacher said Ants are very small insects. They walk in a long line. Sometimes they can get in your arms or legs. I don't like it when I don't like it when they get uh, on me, Anna said. Okay, once more. Ants. My teacher said, ants are very small insects. They walk in a long line. Sometimes they can get on your legs or arms. I don't like it when they get on me, Anna said. Okay, did you understand the story? Now I have some questions for you. Question number one. What is the story about? Do you know what story about? Okay. A. It's about ants. B. It's about ladybug. 
or C, it's about a fly? I'm sure you know the answer. Yes, A is correct answer. It's about ants. Question number two. How do ants walk? A. Very fast. B. One at a time. Or C. In a long line. I'm going to give you some time to think. Yes, correct answer is C. In a long line. Sometimes you can see them going around in the long, long lines and bringing something on their backs. Okay, the question number three. Does Anna like it with, when ants get on her? A. Sometimes. B. Yes. Or C. No. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is C. No, she doesn't like when bugs come on her. Do you like when bugs come on, her, on you or the little ants come on you? I'm sure not. Okay, the next story is Buzzy Bee. We already learned what bee means, so you should understand this. Buzzy Bee. Bees are nice to have around. They fly to flowers and pollinate them. They, they make honey, but watch out. Buzz, buzz goes the bee and then stings me. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts, I shout at him. Okay, once more. Buzzy bee. Bees are nice to have around. They fly to the flowers and pollinate them. They make honey, but watch out. Buzz, buzz, goes the bee and then stings me. Ouch, that hurts, I shout at them. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. Question number one. Why is it nice to have bees around? A. They make honey. B. They buzz. Or C. They sting people. What do you think is correct answer? The correct answer is A. They make honey. And honey is so tasty and healthy. Question number two. What noise does bees make? A. Meow meow B. Buzz buzz Or C. Moo moo What do you think? The correct answer is B. Buzz buzz Meow meow makes the cats and moo moo makes the cow, okay? Next question Why, why do you have to watch out around bees? A. They might buzz on your ear B. They might make too much honey or C. They might sting you. What do you think correct answer is? Correct answer is C. They might sting you and it can hurt sometimes. Okay, next story is my new plane. I got a new plane, Daniel shouted. That's a cool new plane. How does it work? asked John. It's a remote control. See? I push this thumb up and it goes up. I push the thumb down and it goes down, said Daniel. Can I try it? asked John. Okay, once more. My new plane. I got a new plane, Daniel shouted. That is a cool new plane. How does it work? asked John. It's a remote control. See, I push this thumb up and it goes up. I push this thumb down and it goes down, said Daniel. Can I try it? asked John. Okay, now I have some questions for you. Question number one. What did Daniel get? A. He got a new plane. B. He got a new disc. Or C. He got a new house. The correct answer is A. He got a new plane. Question number two. How does the plane work? A. By thumbing it up. B by walking it on the ground or C by using a remote control the correct answer is C by using the com by using the remote control number three what does the plane makes go up or down answer number answer A pushing it with a thumb B saying go up or go down or see batteries. The 
correct answer is A, pushing a thumbs. Okay, the next story is my brother's guitar. My big brother got a new guitar. It is a nice guitar. I like to hear my brother play his guitar. I like to watch him play. I asked him if I could play his guitar. My brother told me, John, you can play the guitar when I'm here. Do not touch the guitar when I'm not here. Okay, once more. My big brother got a new guitar. It's a nice guitar. I like to hear my brother play. I like to watch him play his guitar. I asked him if I could play his guitar. My brother told me, John, you can play the guitar when I'm here, but you cannot touch it when I'm not here. Okay, question number one. What did John's big brother got? A. A new drum B. A new hat or C. A new guitar The correct answer is C. New guitar Question number two What did Joseph ask his brother? A. If he could hear him playing his guitar B. If he could watch him play his guitar or C. If he could play the guitar the correct answer is C, if, who, if he could play his guitar. Question number three. Can Joseph play his brother's guitar? A. Yes, when his brother is there. B. Yes, when his brother is not there. Or C. No, not at all. The correct answer is A. He can play it, but only when his brother is here. Okay, the next story is butterflies. There are three little butterflies. They flew around and go up and down. Come here, little butterfly. I want to hold one of you, said Sarah. I got one, she said. Okay, once more. Butterflies. There are three little butterflies. They flew all around and go up and down. Come here, little butterfly. I want to hold one of you, said Sarah. I got one, she said. Okay, question number one. How many butterflies were there? A. One. B. Three. Or C. Five. The correct answer is B. There were three butterflies. Question number two. What are the butterflies doing? Sitting on a branch? B. Playing with Sarah? Or C. Flying all around? The correct answer is C. Flying all around. Question number three. What does Sarah want to do? A. Fly with the butterflies? B. Hold one of the butterflies? Or C. Play with the butterflies? What is the correct answer? The correct answer is B. Hold one of the butterflies. My family. I love my family. There are five people in my family. I have one brother and one sister. My brother is seven and my sister is two. My mom and dad makes the rules for the family. My little sister gets in trouble sometimes. Our favorite thing to do as a family is to play games together. Okay, once more. My family. I love my, I love my family. There are five people in our family. I have one brother and one sister. My brother is seven and my sister is two years old. My mom and dad makes the rules for my family. My little sister gets sometimes in trouble. Our favorite thing to do as a family is to play games together. Okay, there are a few questions that I'm going to ask you. How many people are in the family? Does anyone know? The correct answer is five. There are five people in my family. Okay, next question. How old is the sister? Anyone knows the answer? The sister is two years old. Next question. Who gets in trouble sometimes? Hmm? Yes, the correct answer is sister. Sister sometimes, sister sometimes goes in trouble. 
Who makes the rules? Mom and dad makes the rules. Do you know what this family likes to do? This family likes to play the games together. Last story is the classroom. My teacher is Miss Sarah. We have 10 desks for 10 students. On the wall is our artwork. We have cut out and painted turkeys for Thanksgiving. During the break, we play on the monkey bars. In the afternoon, Miss Sarah reads a story. It's time to go home. Okay, once more. My teacher is Miss Sarah. We have 10 desks for 10 students. On the wall is our artwork. We have cut out and painted turkeys for Thanksgiving. During break, we play on the monkey bars. In the afternoon, Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah reads a story. Then it's time to go home. Okay, question number one. What's the teacher's name? I'm sure you know what the teacher's name. The teacher's name is Miss Sarah. Second question. How many students are there? I'm sure you can remember it. Yes, there are 10 students. What's hanging on the walls? Do you remember that? On the walls is hanging the artworks. Okay, next question. What are the students doing during the break? They play on the monkey bars. Okay, and the last question is, what does Miss Sarah do in the afternoon? Do you remember that? Miss Sarah reads a story. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you're going to learn all, all the words that we learned today and that you're going to remember it because we are going to need it for next time. Okay, I hope that you stay safe and see you next time. Bye!